Hey, good morning. Let me read to you today. Uh, just one verse. This is out of Psalm 9. And verse 10 was the one that kind of caught my attention today. Uh, Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. That's it. Just one verse. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. I read this and I thought to myself, Which name? (laughs) Those who know your name trust in you. But which name? Is it Adonai, which means the Lord? Is it El Elohe Israel, Israel, God of Israel? Is it El Elyon, God Most High? Is it Elohim? Almighty Creator, God above all gods? Is it El Olam, Eternal God? Is it El Roy, God who sees? What do we call him? Which name? Is it El Shaddai, God of the mountains? Is it Emmanuel, God with us? Is it Yahweh or Jehovah, same word, just pronounced differently. That's the word that's used for I am. Is it Yahweh, Jehovah? Is it a form of that that's used by some other people? Yahweh or Jehovah, Jireh, God, my provider? Do we call him Jehovah Nisi, God who sees? Jehovah Rapha, God my healer. Jehovah Rohi, God my shepherd. Which name? Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. Jehovah Shalom, God my peace. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there. Jehovah Sidkenu, God, my righteousness, those who know your name, trust in you, for you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. But which name? You know, the interesting thing is that most of these names that come straight out of Scripture, most of these names of God, they were assigned to him by those who follow him. A few of the names were dictated to us by the Lord. I am Yahweh, Jehovah, Adonai. Uh, You know, some of these names are given to us directly by the Lord. They're dictated to us, but um, most were a response to something that the Lord had done. These were names given to God by other people. People like Abraham, Jacob, Melchizedek, Hagar, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Paul, Peter. They attach these names to the Lord. See, the point is that many of the Lord's names originate from a personal encounter in relationship with the Lord. Another way of saying Psalm 910 is... Those who know what to call you, trust in you, O Lord. Do you know what to call him? Have you had the relationship where you've seen his work in your life? Pray with me. God, thanks for your presence in our life. And this day, we are just glad to call you Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. I hope you have a great day.